Hi, welcome to the daily word and prayer time. I am Pastor Michelle, Senior Pastor at Sarah Lutheran Presbyterian Church. Happy you could join us today. Today is Thursday of the week of Easter. And we, um, with this, go through three readings and then we have prayer time at the end. So Thursday in the lecture, Revised Common Lectionary is interesting. It's the beginning of the next three days. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we have the same psalm. So it's Psalm 16. So just so you know, sometimes that happens in the lectionary with the daily readings or repeats. And um, that's okay. It means that maybe something sticks out to us that um, we didn't hear the day before. So here we go. Psalm 16. I really like this psalm. Protect me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the holy ones of the land, they are the noble, in whom is all my delight. Those who chose another god multiply their sorrows. Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out or take their names upon my lips. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also my heart instructs me. I keep the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body also rests secure. For you do not give me up to Sheol or let your faithful ones see the pit. You show me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. In your right hand are pleasures forevermore. And the next one is the Song of, Song of Solomon. Um, it's interesting, we get into the, also known as the Song of Psalms. Um, we get into this, the, for some reason this time of year. And I think it's because of um, the bounty and the plentifulness and Easter being about new life and rebirth and things like that. Um, so even though it's a love poem to God, um, it's one of those things that um, it's, it's beautiful to read and remind us about love in the world because we really need it right now. So from Son of Solomon, um, I'm reading chapter two, verse 18 through 15. The voice of my beloved, look, he comes leaping upon the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle or a young stag. Look, there he stands behind our wall, gazing in at the windows, looking through the lattice. My beloved speaks and says to me, arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. For now the winter is past, the rain is over and gone. The flower appears. The flowers appear on the earth. The time of seeming has come. And the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs. The vines are in blossom and they give forth fragrance. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. Oh, my dove in the clefts of the rock, in the, co the covert of the cliff, let me see your face. Let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and your face is lovely. Catch us, the foxes, the little foxes that ruin the vineyards, for our vineyards are in blossom. <laughs> and the next reading, last one of the night, day, is again, we're, it's still in Colossians. They're just pounding through it. So, um, but it's a good one too, about prayer. Colossians 4, verse 2 to 5. Devote yourselves to prayer, keeping alert in what in keeping alert in it with thanksgiving. At the same time, prayer is for us as well that God will open to us a door for the word, that we may declare the mystery of Christ for which I am in prison, so that I may reveal it clearly as I should. Conduct yourselves wisely toward outsiders, making 
the most of the time. So on that note, prayer being a time of thanksgiving and a time that opens a door to us to God, it is time for prayer time. So the daily prayer, um, again, it, this is a time that I just, there's spaces in it for you to lift up names um, after the petition. So if there's silence, it's a time for you to speak out loud or in your heart, someone that you really want to pray for right now. So let us pray. Gracious God, we give thanks to you for hoping and believing in us, for rising from the tomb and to being with us in these darkest hours. We give thanks to you, O oh God, to walk with us in the unknown. You are God of resurrection, who brings us hope, love, and courage. Healing God, we pray to you for all of those who are suffering in mind, body, and spirit. Be with them right now as they struggle or scared and feel alone, let them know that your abundant love is there with them. Wrap them in your arms close, Lord. Let them feel your healing presence. We especially lift up to you those we name silently, or out loud we name silently in our hearts, or we name out loud right now. Loving Lord, we give thanks to you for all who are helping to keep us safe in our communities during this time of unknown. We especially lift up to all the healthcare workers, the delivery people, the grocery workers, the essential workers, the mail carriers. I mean, everybody who is helping to make our lives be okay so we can stay at home. Even those who Keep the electricity on and water running and the internet going, Lord. We give thanks for them. We especially lift up to those we name out loud or silently in our hearts right now. Caring and loving God. We cry and mourn with those who lost loved ones during this time. Be with them. We mourn that they cannot be with their families as they mourn the loss. Hold them close to you, Lord, and let them feel that you are with them walking this difficult path. We especially lift up to the names that we are saying out loud right now or silently in our hearts. Merciful God, we lift up to you all the names we have spoken and unspoken today in this prayer. We give thanks to you, Lord, for your abundant love. Thank you, Lord, for being with us, being the hope and the light that shines in these dark hours. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Please join me tomorrow night for our next daily word and prayer. May you be blessed in your evening. Amen.